So guys, last night there was a super middleweight title fight between um, Jose Usakasi. Usakasi. Um, I'm butchering that name. I don't know how to say it, but yeah, against Caleb Plant for the IBF um, super middleweight title. Uh, Caleb Plant uh, winning a unanimous decision over uh, Jose Utakatsi. Um You know, it was a fight that it, it wasn't a big. It wasn't really like a a big fight. You know, to start off the year. Uh, you know, I think it's been overshadowed by obviously Brona Pacquiao next week. Um, but you know, nevertheless, it was a. Uh, it was a good fight. Um, I didn't watch it, um, but you know, from what I've read, it, it looks to me like Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant, uh, dropped uh, Utsukatsi twice in the fight in the second and fourth round, and he was the better, he was the um, the more skilled boxer boxing Utsukatsi. Uh, Utsukatsi, you know, came on late on in the fight, looking to uh, take Caleb Plant out. You know, Utsukatsi was somebody that was favorite for the fight. Most people thought he would knock uh, Caleb Plant out, but. A plant was able to box his way to, you know, you know, and he, he not just box, but he hurt Utsukatsi. He dropped him twice, uh, and you know, he was able to get, you know, dance his way or not dance his way, but box his way to, you know, a unanimous decision. Now, these are guys that I've heard of these guys, um, but they're not they're not very well known fighters. Um, I'm pretty sure after that, it's the, you know their name is it, you know. You know, they've definitely got some more popularity after that, and especially for someone like Caleb Plant. I know he's been a lot through his life. You know, his daughter, you know, he had an 18-month daughter that passed away. Um, so, you know, he's had a tough journey. I remember in one of the interviews uh, when it was James DeGale fighting uh, Truax. I remember, you know, he broke down in one of the interviews, you know, at the weigh-in that, that, you know, fight, you know, Fight Hub T for Fight Hub TV broke down because you know he said, "Oh, it's been a hard life. I've had a hard life," and it's that. And he and he explained a lot of things. And you know, I was like, you know, credit to him. You know, he's he's won a world title. Um, he's probably achieved his dream, and now you know he's he can make some serious money in the sport. He also proposed to his his missus after the after the fight as well. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check that out. Um. But yeah, you know what? After the fight, David Benavidez, another good champion in the super middleweight division, called him out, said that I'm gonna put this guy on a stretcher. And I think I think Benavidez is a different cat of fish altogether. I think that would be a hard fight for uh, Plant. And then you know, I think I think he beats Plant. But you know, Plant obviously, obviously Plant, you know, definitely put his name out there, boxed well. He was the underdog in the fight. And he, you know, he was more the boxer puncher, whereas Utsukatsi was more just a big puncher. And, and I think that's why Caleb Plant was able to uh, outbox him and box his way to a win, which is was impressive. Impressive, you know, because like I said, he was the underdog for so him to do that. You have to give him massive props and credit. Um, but if I'm honest with you, I think Callum Smith beats him. I think Callum Smith would beat Caleb Plant. I think Callum Smith's an exceptional boxer. I, I didn't think Callum Smith was that good until I actually saw him against George Groves. He's massive for the weight and he's spiteful as well. He's a big, he's a, he can punch. And I just think that's a hard, hard fight for um, Caleb Plant. I would, I, would, I, would, I would probably pick Benavidez and, um, and uh, uh, what's his name, Callum Smith to beat um, Plant. But... You know, the super middleweight division now has got some fresh blood. We've got Benavidez, Smith, and now Plant coming through as well. So, you know, we got some new fresh faces. And then obviously we got the old guard still in Groves and what's happening going to happen with DeGale and Eubank and, you know, maybe Billy Joe Saunders moves up. We, we don't know. We don't know. You know, there's a there's new fresh faces. You know, the super middleweight division is not that strong. There isn't no star attraction, you know, but maybe one of these guys are going to claim the spot. Maybe one of these guys are going to become the next star. Because right now, there's no real big stars in the super middleweight division. Um, let's see what happens moving forward. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. If you saw the fight, uh, I know it was, it was an ideal. It was on. A, it was Sunday morning, um, and obviously we've we we you know if you gotta go work, you're not gonna be watching a fight, and it's not like a a great or huge fight. It was you know it was a under the radar kind of fight, but you know nevertheless it was for the super middleweight IBF world title. Leave your thoughts if you saw it. Um, and guys, remember to please like share. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.